<sighs> mm. Hey y'all, so here I am just going in with the pre-poo. And as you can see here, it has a very gel-like consistency. And I can tell you guys straight off the bat that this pre-poo is amazing. It literally like just melted the tangles out of my hair, like literally. And not only that, like it was very moisturizing. As you can see here, like my curls are starting to pop. Like this pre-poo is so awesome. Not only that, it smells really, really good. It smells to me like some type of candy, like some type of sweet, fruity candy. And yes, this is the best detangler ever. Like, yes, go purchase this pre-poo. It is awesome. <laughs> don't mind me like your girl was feeling herself like this pre poo just <sighs> it just makes detangling such a breeze as you can see so yeah don't mind me <laughs> so this is me after i have washed out the pre poo and i am going in with the shampoo now the shampoo from this line is a sulfate free shampoo i personally could care less if it's sulfate free or not um but this one does not have sulfates and i feel like the um i feel like this smelled very very clean very very fresh like i don't know i really can't pinpoint like the scent of it but it smelled really really good uh this shampoo did not strip my hair at all whatsoever it was very moisturizing actually like yeah this So yes, this shampoo was a definite yes for me. Um, like I said, my hair did not feel stripped. It felt very moisturized. And yeah, and of course it felt clean afterwards. So yes, uh, I definitely like the shampoo. And not only that, a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. And of course, us as naturals, we have a lot of hair. So that is a definite, definite plus. So after I washed out the shampoo, I am now going in with their heat activated mask. Now I did not purchase the conditioner um, for two reasons. One, the reviews on the conditioner, I just saw so many negative reviews on the conditioner. Like I pretty much was over it. And second, I literally, I couldn't find the conditioner um, in the stores that I went anyway. So I wasn't really, you know, bothered by not having a conditioner. And sometimes I don't go in with a conditioner after I shampoo anyway. So yeah, that was fine. So as you can see, this product is very, very thick. And yeah, initially when I put this product on, I was like, mm, this stuff is not absorbing in my hair at all. So I knew that I definitely had to use heat with this particular mask as you can as the pro like the product says uh heat activated and yeah this stuff was definitely literally <laughs> sitting on top of my hair yes i am low porosity so getting products to absorb in my hair definitely require heat but yes, this, this particular product, I just knew I was going to be up under the dryer for a good 30 to 45 minutes. So this is me chuckling because I'm realizing I look just like that dude from Tales from the Hood. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, so now I'm just applying my two shower caps and I will see you guys once I am done with being under the dryer. So here I am 45 minutes later and uh, yeah, like this deep conditioner, it didn't do it for me. Like, as you can see, it's still sitting on top of my hair. Like this is 45 minutes later and I got under a hooded dryer. Like, 
I was not satisfied, y'all. Like my hair did feel somewhat moisturized, but it just, I've had better. Let's just say that I've had better. Um, it didn't really feel that great. Like I've had conditioners that have made my hair feel better than what I was feeling, you know, at this current moment. So this is one product that I just would not be repurchasing. Like I just, I wasn't happy at all with this. It, it it somewhat helped, but it just wasn't enough to say that it was a deep conditioner or to say it was a mask. So after I rinsed that out, I then went in and blow dried my hair. Now being a type four uh, natural, I personally uh, always style my hair when it's stretched just because of the shrinkage. And not only that, it takes forever and a day for my hair to dry. So yeah, I just, I don't have time for that. So um, here I am going in with the leave-in. Now this line does have two leave-in conditioners. It has the cream leave-in conditioner, as you can see here. And it also has a more watery consistent spray leave-in conditioner. Um, so yeah, I used, of course, the cream one. And now I am going in with some olive oil. And now I am going to flat twist. Uh... I personally love flat twisting. This is also where I get um, so much definition versus two strand twisting. I didn't flat twist the back because I suck at flat twisting the back. So yeah, and here I am just applying more product on the ends. Now be sure to always apply more product on the ends of your hair because that is what I feel like will make or break your hairstyle. Um, yeah, it's your ends. And once I am done twisting that all the way down, I then band two knot the end. And yeah, so this is the completed twist, flat twist in the front, two strand twist in the back. And I'm going to sleep and I will see you guys the next day. So here it is the next day. And as you can see, it came out very defined. Like I was very shocked that this leave-in provided this much definition. So I'm very, very happy with the line. Overall, it was affordable and it was totally worth it, just minus the deep conditioner. <laughs> but other than that, like, yes, it was definitely worth it, you guys. My hair looks and feels amazing. It's soft, it's moisturized, it's shiny, I love it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, you guys, bye. <laughs>